Thirteen hospitals in Alabama have closed in the last eight years. Seven were in rural Alabama, and right now 90% of those rural hospitals are operating in the red. Lydia Nussbaum explains why these hospitals are struggling financially and how help might be on the way. The federal government has thrown Alabama hospitals a lifeline. This is, buys a little more time. And some hospitals need that time to stay alive. They're struggling financially in part because of low reimbursement rates. Hospitals in places like New York get more money back from the federal government than hospitals in places like Alabama when they care for someone on Medicare. This wouldn't have happened without. There is some hope for Alabama hospitals. A new federal rule change will give more money to hospitals in the bottom 25% of America to help with those reimbursements. And Alabama has more hospitals in that uh, bottom 25 percent than any other state in the country. For rural Alabama, this is a big deal. In rural America, and especially in rural Alabama, you're more likely to have a population that's older, hence they're on Medicare. Senator Doug Jones visited a hospital in Alabama back in July. He advocated for higher reimbursements. We've got to keep these hospitals in these communities. The uh, hospitals and health care is a lifeblood of a community. And when they, they start leaving, communities start drying up. And we Other got... lawmakers applaud the change. U.S. Senator Richard Shelby says Alabama hospitals have suffered the negative effects of the Medicare wage index for over two decades. Now this reimbursement change goes into effect next year. The Alabama Hospital Association says right now our state has the lowest wage index in the nation. Our state receives a rate that's just 67% of the national average.